So, uh, hmm, this is awkward. Uh, yeah, but it shouldn't be. I mean, we still see each other almost on a daily basis in and outside of work. Yes, but just, you know, people really wanted us to do another truth or dare after our last one did really well. And, um, well, the truth or dare questions can get spicy. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but it's not like it's not something we've ever said to each other or seen before, so... I guess that's true. That being said, do you want to go first? I guess, yeah. Alright. Truth. It just, I guess it feels weird that we don't have Gregory with us. That's also true. Uh, what's the most exotic thing you've ever eaten? Alright. Alright, alright. Alright, so when we were, when I was traveling the world for a couple, for that year, you remember that year where mm -hmm. I was traveling the world? Before we got nailed down to the Pizza Plex? Yes. Um, I remember I went over... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I went to India and I had one of their curries there. Spiciest thing I've ever had by far. That's the most exotic thing is just curry? Yeah, but actual authentic curry. I thought you were gonna say like snails or um... You do not understand how spicy it was. Like legitimately, I if it wasn't for my dad, I feel like I might have a scar on the roof of my mouth. <laughs> Well, fair enough. All right, that was the first truth. I guess I should spice things up a little bit and go for a dare. Change into an avatar of the opposite gender until the end of your next turn. Well... Do you have a different suit on you? Do I have a different suit on me? And here we are! What the? You look like a buff foxy. Yeah, but Roxanne, right? I guess? I feel weird about this. This is what I'd look this. like if I was a, uh, a boy. I see. Okay. Uh, does it make you uncomfortable? Nope. Just makes me think, like, what would all of us look like as the opposite self? We already know what Monty looks like because they're... There, they go between right yeah, now. They go back and forth. I'm wondering what Chica would look like. I wonder what Ooh. I would look like actually. I can picture it. Would I be a tall, buff lady? <gasps> a muscle mommy. Would I be a muscle mommy? You might be. You go to the gym enough. Maybe I should turn on Circus Baby's Interdimensional Travel thing and see if I can find <laughs> one. That would be fun. Now, do your turn so I can go back to normal. Okay, okay. There. Talk like a robot until the next turn. Oh, God. Uh, Oh. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and take my turn because I want to be done with this and I definitely want to be done with that. Um, what are you talking about? Um, oh. I'm sure this isn't too annoying. Okay. No, it is very annoying. Now, let me read my question. Would you ever okay. be mean to... Oh, stop it! Would you ever <laughs> be mean to someone if it meant you could save your close friend from embarrassment? I mean to people all the time, so probably. You've done that before anyway. Yeah. Do you precisely. not remember? Do you not remember? Remember when Chica was about to eat some rotten pizza? You decided to throw a major fit in front of one of the cameras just to get the attention so that way they wouldn't have a picture of her vomiting. I don't think that's being mean to somebody in order to save her from embarrassment. I would have kicked somebody in the shin. Now that would have been that, but... Yes, but you were saying that the reporter stole your outfit when they were just wearing your shirt just to make sure that they, Chica wouldn't be shown throwing up. Therefore, I'm a good friend is all I'm Yes, I'm you are a very good friend. Now, please take your turn so you can stop that got off a voice. Very well. Ugh. Oh, oh no. my god. I don't know if this is any better. I mean, I'll like a Meow. few every 10 seconds until the end of next year. I'm going to go Meow. for a year myself. Talk like a crazy clown until the end of year. Well, I mean, funny enough, I do have a really good circus baby impression. Does that count? Mm, yeah, I guess that would count. Meow. All right, I guess I have to talk like this until the end of my next turn, so I really don't want to keep this up, Freddy, so please go. This is very weird to me. Meow. I know. I'm sorry. Just go. Hey, you don't, don't break character. Oh, okay, I'm not breaking character. Uh, yeah, just take your turn, Freddy. All right, all right. I like this because it's Meow. really awkward. What have you lied to your friends about? Meow. What have you lied to your friends about, Freddy? Uh, ooh, ooh, this one's good, actually. Ooh. So, when I was hanging out with Glamrock Bonnie, I accidentally double booked both him and Funtime Foxy to hang out. Meow. So, why didn't you just hang out with both of them? Because they both wanted to do very different things. Meow. Uh. Uh, so I basically had to lie to Glamrock Bonnie that I was feeling very sick and that Circus Baby fed me some bad ice cream and involved her in it. And and I was just feeling sick that day. So you chose to hang out with Funtime Foxy over Glamrock Bonnie, your best friend. Interesting. Because I couldn't, because I was already with Funtime Foxy. It would seem awkward uh, to get to do that with. I see, I see. All right, one last one. 
There we go. Gross. All right. Let me go ahead and um, I guess I'll pick a truth because I think it did dare last time. How far would you go on a first date? <clears throat> um. You can stop being circus baby now, by the way. Oh, yes. thank. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank goodness. Um, how far would I go on a first date? Um... Well, should we talk about our first date? No, I don't think we have to do that. I guess how much would you... How far would you go when you're on a current first date then? I don't think I would go very far. I think... I don't even think... You wouldn't even kiss anyone. I think you would just, at most, like... Pat on the back or I a hug, I think, know. right? Well, I think as long as I'm feeling the person, I think a kiss on the first date is fine. Um, but I think I, I think a first date should be the classic, you know, go hang out. Ideally, not a movie because you can't really talk during a movie. Maybe a dinner, something you can have good conversation. And then, you know, the classic. Wasn't our first date a movie date? Yep. Are you saying that was a bad date? I'm saying it's not a great way to get to know someone. Somebody. I mean, you and I already knew each other at the time, but if you're on a first date with somebody new, then you need to be able to talk to them. What good is sitting next to each other watching a movie? I guess that's fair. You can't get to know somebody that way. I did take it to Olive Garden afterwards, though. I do like Olive Garden, yes. But, um, you know, the classic uh, dinner and then drop them off at home and maybe a kiss there. Anyways, right. it's your turn. <clears throat> yep. All right. Why do you keep getting these animals? Can I just switch to a truth? Because I've done multiple dares, actually. <laughs> sure. Truth it is. Only because I don't want to see you act like a chicken. If you could prank... <clears throat> well, I'm the only other person here. I guess the question would be, how would you prank me? You don't do anything mean. I've been through enough in the past few weeks. <laughs> no, no, no. I wouldn't do anything like put dye in your hair or put dye hair in your shampoo I or would something. probably never talk to you again. Especially with your white hair? Oh exactly. my god. Exactly. It would never wash out. No, 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 no. Uh, and, and I know you're extra careful to get that green streak in your hair at all times and mm -hmm. all that. And it bleeds into the rest of it, so... So it takes a lot of bleaching. So what would you do? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I would get Gregory involved. I would get him to distract you for a little bit while I went into your kitchen. Mm -hmm. I would replace all, and I know you have your sweet tooth. Yes. I would replace all of your coffee sugar with salt. Why would you do that? I guess that only ruins one coffee, but you would keep my coffee sugar though, right? Oh yeah, no, I would just put it somewhere else. Okay. But I would replace it all, and even if you try to switch over to your sugar cubes, I would switch them out for salt cubes. Do salt cubes even exist? Oh yeah, they do. They're not traditional, but I can make them. Uh. Fair enough. I'm doing a dare. <laughs> Pretend I am cooking. I, I cook enough for Gregory. I'm picking a different one. Act like you're tickling Freddy. Um, you want to try that? Not really. I'll let you skip this one. But you know what? I'm, I'm also going to I'm do also going the to macarena. Skip <laughs> oh, lead the group in a mini yoga class. You know what? I'll do this one. <clears throat> All right, class. Welcome to Roxanne's yoga. Are you ready to... Do yoga? Uh, yes, Miss Roxanne. Or is it Miss Wolf, actually? Miss Wolf, thank you. First things first, I'm going to have us do a nice sitting stretch. Now look up, breathe in. <gasps> breathe in. <gasps> there you go. And hold that breath and then let it go. Uh... <sighs> and as you let your breath go, return your head to its normal position. And then I want you to take another big deep breath. But while you do so, I want you to stand up, look to the sky, slowly lower yourself back to the ground, and let that breath go. Uh... <sighs> lower yourself to the ground. There you go. Now, I want you to breathe in and go ahead and lie down on the floor. <gasps> yep, and there you go. And now I want you to stand back up with a deep breath in. Mm -hmm. And then hold it and then let it go. Uh, <sighs> I haven't done yoga in years. How do you feel after that? Should I be a yoga instructor? <laughs> No, because isn't th isn't that what Chica already does for the pizza black with her jazzercise? No, jazzercise is dancing, not yoga. Oh, okay. Silly. Maybe maybe you could, but then again, the pizza plex wants you to be this mean person, so yeah. would it be mean yoga then? It could be. Get your 
in the air for downward dog. For downward dog. I don't even think your butt goes in the air for downward dog, but you know, the, besides the point, mean yoga could be a thing that could be very therapeutic. Mostly for me, but you know, this if is a stupid you... one. Yeah. You know, I want I want juicy truths. Oh, here Do we go. Do you ever talk to yourself in the mirror? I know this the answer to this one, and it's yes. So Yes, and why. I know that's also yes for you too. I mean, of course I talk to myself in the mirror. I'm Roxanne Wolf. Have you seen here? Me? Yes, and just so people know. Okay, so this is what I when me and Roxanne were sharing the same room when we uh -huh. were together. Yeah. I remember I would wake up in the morning after Roxanne. She caught me in the act once, and after she was done, I went up to the mirror and says, Whew, you're a big bear. You're a strong bear. You're an emotionally strong bear. You can do this. You can get through the day. You can fight whatever issues come up. You can win the hearts of the public. You can do this. I mean, honestly, I think everyone should talk to themselves in the mirror. It really helps, you know, having a little conversation every once in a while to hype yourself up. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, it is. Although you can take it a little too far sometimes, though. I mean, I can take everything a little too far. I'm going for another dare. I, uh, yeah. Well, no one's to my right, so I'm gonna skip that one. Dance for 30 seconds to a catchy song. I don't even have any dance moves. I'm not Gregory. Get slapped in the face by a player to your right. Hmm. Do you want to slap me? Do I want to live? Oh, that's a good point. Hop all around like a bunny rabbit and randomly yell, Fluffy, until the end of your next Yes! I had to do the meow one. <sighs> you have to do this one. All right. Take your turn, please. Fluffy. All right. Let's see. I did a truth last time, so let's do a day as well. Fluffy. Yell the r first word that comes to my mind. Fluffy. <laughs> Laughing isn't a word. Fluffy. Fine. Hilarious. <laughs> Touche. Fluffy. All right. Fluffy. Have you ever kept a library book? Fluffy. Absolutely, I have. Fluffy. In fact, Gregory has like three that he never returned to the library. Are you so. kidding me? Fluffy. Did you, did you end up having to pay for them or are they still just racking up? I think they're still racking up. I should really take those back. Fluffy. Yeah, before you go you owe over a hundred dollars. Your turn. All right. Fluffy. What's the most useless piece of knowledge you know? This should be interesting. Uh. I can't even think of it anything off the top of my head that I know that's useless. Oh, I- Oh, wait, no, I got something. All right. You know though, you know how people have shoelaces and all that? Sure. Well, the, you know that there's a name for this little plastic bit at the end of it? No, I don't think I did. What's it called? An aglet. An aglet? Yeah. A-G-L-E-T-S. All right. Is it the same for like hoodies and stuff that have that little plastic bit too? I believe so, yeah. Interesting. Well, the more you know. Thinking about it, I think the most useless information I know is that on a horse, on the inside of their leg, they have little growths. And these growths are basically just keratin, kind of like, you know, a human's nails or something, but not like nails at the same time. Anyways, they're called chestnuts, and you can peel them off. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't say that's as useless, but... It doesn't hurt them or anything. They just, it's build up of keratin. Oh, I got one more useless fact, actually. No oh boy, here we go. Play it on me. So, some scientists are trying to find out, because there's certain, um... Uh, Plants that give off a scent when they're cut, right? Yes, like grass. Well, they're say they say that there might be a chance that there might be emotions or some kind of pain oh, plants I feel when yeah. cut or used. So that means, n theoretically, we're doing just as much dead screaming and pain and agony to plants as we are to eating meat, so... Yeah, I have heard that before. I wonder if that's, like, actually true. Yeah, there's still scientists still researching that. Mm. All right, I guess I'll do another dare. Uh, no, if... I'm, no, I'm not doing that. I mean, I know how to give you a really good one, but... Well, I would have been giving it to you. Well, <clears throat> I would have been giving it to you. Wait, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, last time you tried doing that, you dug your claws right into my back. I am not letting you do that again. It's not my fault that I have claws. And it's not my fault either that I cannot speak in a British accent to save my life. <laughs> do you like right. it? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Have you Ooh. ever wanted... Oh, I've answered... No, no, I'm going to skip this one because I answered this last time and I said, yeah, we all have. Yeah. Fair enough. Next one. Ooh. Have you ever shared your friend's secret with someone else? Yes, I've told you Circus Babies ones before. Yeah, uh, understandable, really. You know, I'm gonna skip that one since we already know the answer to that one. True. When was it this morning? The, uh, that's not even surprising. I'm surprised you didn't do it when we were looking at the mirror over there. Eh. 
<clears throat> Thank goodness that's over. Have you ever eaten lunch by yourself and why? I mean, I do that often. I just have lunch in my green room. Yeah, like when you have a day off, but Gregory still goes to school. What, are you just yeah. supposed to go out, go find someone and eat lunch with them? No. I mean, there are times where me and you both had a day off and we went to eat lunch together, but yeah. there were days when you just went and just ate a sandwich in the middle of your house, I'm betting. I feel like every single person in the history of the world has had lunch by themselves unless they're a child. Yeah, are, is this supposed to be like sad or something? Maybe it's for kids that are in school or something, and that's what it means. Like, have you ever eaten lunch by yourself at school? In that case, no, but... Uh, no, I I always had my brother with me, if anything. So, well, not the same. I always had, you know, at least a couple friends. Well, you had Rocky, too. Yeah, well, we weren't in the same grade, but... Oh, I know. Me and Freddy weren't as well, but when it, but me, we always made sure we had each other's back, just like I'm sure you had always Rocky's back. Oh, absolutely. All right, I say we do two more, so you're up next. All right, a dare. I can't draw right now, and I don't think we have a thing to draw with, so, Gip. Yeah. Oh god, I definitely want to get this over with. Dare. Seeing you are my sunshine at full, full volume. Okay. <clears throat> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. All right, I think it's your turn. <laughs> All right, last one, Freddy. Make it a good one. Describe your ideal partner in a goofy voice. In a goofy voice. All right, this should be interesting. Well, gosh. Oh, <laughs> I don't think it literally meant goofy voice, but sure, take it away. <laughs> My ideal partner would be someone who knows what I do for work and would not be upset if I had to work super late or super into something else. But also, Garsh, I would also love them to be feisty, be able to take charge when need to. Hmm. And I guess also have some musical talent as well, as as uh, I would love for them to be able to help me with songs and such. But I want them to be strong and independent. Be able to take charge. Fair enough. Organ? I think so. <laughs> Can on. I stop talking like Goofy? No, please stop talking like Goofy. We have to <laughs> go pick Gregory up from school. You know what? In fact, if you want to talk to the teachers like that and embarrass him, I'm all fine for that. Oh, let's. Oh, you know what? Didn't Gregory get a D in his uh in one of his classes recently? He sure did. Shall we go embarrass him? I think we shall. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Put on that guy one, that guy oh. suit you have, and I'll put on some kind of like girl one and be like, no, we're Gregory's parents. Easy. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Let's go. 